and a pleasant good Friday morning. It's the 20th of May, and yes, it's the last day of Taurus. Yep, tomorrow Gemini begins. Well, happy birthdays to former pitcher David Wells and to uh, Ramon Hernandez and also to Austin Kearns and also a happy birthday to Trevor Smith, best, better known as Buster Rhymes. Yeah, from the, from, from the flip mode squad. And yes, it is a little bit overcast today. It's been a cool week. Yeah, with temperatures only in the upper 60s to low 70s, which is below average. And it's going to be more the same today. It's only going to be in the upper 60s today and the weekend. But then early next week, it's going to warm up. As the days start to get longer and we get a little bit closer to summer. And yes, we have reached the midway point of spring. And... Um, yeah, well, after a day off, the Dodgers are in Philly to take on the Phillies, city of brotherly love. And yes, after winning five in a row, I hope the Dodgers will get revenge against the Phillies who took three out of four last weekend. And the Angels are home against the Oakland A's. And yes, the Giants are hosting the Padres. Normally we don't root for the San Diego Padres, but this weekend will be an exception. And yes, the Rangers are playing the Astros, so this weekend we're Rangers fans. And uh, the Yankees and Mets will continue to dominate as always. But yes, the Boston Celtics t have tied the NBA, NBA Eastern Conference Finals at a game apiece with a huge 25-point uh, win yesterday. The points were exactly the same after halftime. And uh, yes, teams that take a, when, when playoff series are tied 1-1, the game three winner wins about 73% of the time. So let's hope that Miami takes care of business and win at least one game in Boston to make it interesting. Yeah, this series will go at least six games. It could go the distance. Meanwhile, uh, the Western Conference Finals return tonight at Chase Center in San Francisco between the Warriors and the Mavericks. And yes, tonight is a must win for the Mavs for sure. And the Warriors have yet to lose a home game during these playoffs and this might be the time to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so um, Hopefully, Luca will have a better game tonight. But the Warriors don't want to go to Dallas tied 1-1. And yes, I know it's hard for the Laker fans, but I'm sure we don't want Boston to pass us. And... Uh, because we worked hard to tie the Celtics a couple years ago in the bubble. And I hope that we get a new coach soon, but it probably might not be until after the finals are over, like around summertime. Otherwise, we'll have to use one of our assistant coaches as an interim coach. And yeah, so Kyle Lowry is still out. But yeah, Al Horford came back and so did Marcus Smart. So yeah. That wasn't the case when Milwaukee tied the series. I mean, last series that Milwaukee won up two to one, but they lost in seven. Yeah, this series will go seven games at least, or it could go seven. So could the Dallas series if Dallas wins tonight, but if Golden State wins, this thing could be over sooner than later. Uh, well, meanwhile, uh, have a good rest of your Friday. I'll talk to you all later. All right, let's go Dodgers. And yes, let's go Padres this weekend. Amen. <laughs>